Bosku tiba bosku dah orang tanya kan. Tiga tiga ribu bosku. Tu ada bom dia out sini dah orang ada. Dah orang ada bom dia itu tiga ribu bosku ya tiga ribu. Orang kekau dah orang sini kan. Bosku, apa tiga bosku tu tinggal tak? Bosku tiga empat empat. Oh, entah itu apa lah.
My name is Niraz Limbu. How old are you? I'm uh, 14 old. Where do you live? Sipal. Buddha. I know, I know. What's what? Good job. I saw it's gold. Is there any person like that? Yeah, I'm enjoying here. <laughs> yes, we have got so many beautiful places here. Sometimes I go to cinema hall, sometimes I go to zoo, and sometimes I go to city. I like it. Soon, uh. Yeah, there are some shops, you know, where they can go and sell their gold. Mm. Even a small piece, you know. They get like 300 rupees. 300 rupees? Yes. Very ah. money. I was uh, working here in this area, Pasupati, for four years. Actually, you know, while I first came in uh, Pasupati area, at that time the, the problem was in a peak point. Like majority of the kids were suffering from many kinds of diseases and, you know, uh, they were so dirty and, you know, uh, they were really facing many kinds of, you know, hygiene problem and they don't have, you know, education, you know, so many problems was going on. So I just first start, started uh, my, you know, my support here, like, uh, you know, firstly, you know, I just, uh, you know, train them how to be clean, how to be clean in the, in the life. What is the importance of, you know, clean? Why, I, why we should clean our body? Uh, you know, what is it's important, you know? Why shouldn't we eat dirty foods? What happens later? So many things, you know, I just guide them before for, for some months. And then after slowly, I feel, I, I saw, you know, progressment. And then after, you know, I started teaching them basic lessons. And uh, in that lessons, I taught them, you know, you know, uh, like, you know, how to know basic letters in Nepali and in, in English also. Now also, you know, you can see some of the kids, you know, they're speaking English little. So I feel so proud. And then after, you know, when they are little grown up, you know, I also give them like sex education because in the street, it's so exploited all the time.
How many years you live in Paso Patina? Maybe 11 to years. How old are you? 17. <laughs> Because because my parents is drinking alcohol and and he is beat me. Pick up money. Pick up money. In in the river. In the river. I was able to start working with him. You think you can work with him? They are working together. Your friends is like your family? Yes. Uh, Sura, since one year, I am knowing this guy. He is very soft-hearted, very good guy, but still many, many problems in his body. And uh, you know, he's the he's the victim of HIV itself. You know, he has the problem of like you know blood. Uh, you know, sort of like you know what to say. Uh, his blood is not pure. That's why you can see many kinds of the dots and you know many kinds of you know like you know ulcers outside in his skin. And uh, actually, you know, uh, uh, since then, you know, he's very good. And whatever I teach them, you know, I try to say something he understand well. And uh, it's also progressed a lot. He has also progressed a lot because it was a major problem, you know, when I first met him. But slowly, you know, he's progressing in his life. You know, I see change suras day by day. Yes, we don't have any you know, captain or insults. We look after ourselves daily. They don't have any, you know, commander or command or something like this. You know? Yes. Yo, Daura Kolik. Ita Batalaga. Ita Batalaga. Ita Batalaga. Like, you know, one truck from brick factory always comes here to take the fire. Moina, good. Deep water. Yeah. When they when they make the truck full with the wood, they get twelve hundred and fifty rupees. What is another month? Four hundred. Yeah, uh, we distribute uh, this twelve hundred and fifty rupees in between four person. Six thousand. Like in a month, we earn like uh, six seven thousand rupees.
Thank <laughs> you.